What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Greatest Vlog in the World. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. And today we're camping, right? <laughs> the weather is not with us 100%, so I'm hoping that uh, maybe things get better, but we have plan Bs and plan Cs. So it should be fun, right? Should we kick it off? Let's, yeah. uh, let's kick it off. Let's get everything out of the car and let's get ready. Cut. Take it. All right, ruffles. Yes, no, yes, no. no. I actually need a new one of these. I forgot this one. But this looks cool. That's exactly what we need. So one of these. Okay, cool. That was easy. Maybe we should get a cooler. I don't know what it's for, but it's cool. Maybe things, cachaça. They be things cachas just for me. Chicken, 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 chicken. This is what she likes. We're just getting the good stuff. We're doing this the lazy way. Ah, oh, some wings. Where are the wings? Let's do a mix. Mix, mix sausage. Mix sausage. That should be enough meat. Huh? How many wines? Yeah, yeah. How many wines? How, How many, many wines? Five. <laughs> See. Who did the list? List, list of supermarket Vero. She sends me these lists all the time. She's like, can you go to the supermarket? <laughs> Should I read it out? Chicken, uh, lemon, oregano, uh, ore oregano uh, rosemary, tomato, pimenta, uh, mustard. Has anyone ever tried this? Is it worth the upgrades? We're we going for a red wine. I'm with cut. Hola. Oh my day. This is my sister. Double my dulce boy. Baby, it's enough? <laughs> no? Not enough? Not enough? Never enough wine. Look at the extra virgin. Woo! Lifts are scary in Madeira, apparently. Are you scared? I once got stuck in a lift in Madeira when, oh, I, was yeah. a, when I was a little kid. <laughs> High ceilings in the Conforama building. For those of you who live here, you know Conforama is the place where you buy all the, 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 the furniture and all that stuff for your house. It's a house store and they have a supermarket inside. And this car doesn't fit in any of the other supermarket uh, uh, spaces. So here in Conforama, there's enough space. It's probably illegal, so, you know, we're not sponsored by Conforama. I don't even think I'm allowed to park here. So much stuff. We're gonna have to come back and buy a sofa, so we'll do that at some point. All right, but for now, thank you, Conforama. And no, this is not a paid ad. And thank you, Continental. No, it's not a paid ad either. And uh, I'm sorry if there's anything that we shouldn't be doing. Let's get out of here. Hey, you want a bag of, you want a bag of charcoal? Yeah. yeah. This tent is for sale, or of course, if you want to do like a swap, a troca, then you can change for one of these. It's always a mission. And these ones just open up so nicely. So these are the awesome, the, the tents that you get at Decathlon, of course. Uh, you can check out another video of ours. I'm going to use this opportunity to tell you about that video. We did a video a while back about licenses and everything. So we're in Shoundish Fetators and we've got a license as well. So you do have to get a license to camp in this place. Uh, theoretically. It's a plateau, Shandish Fetators. I had a magical experience here once. Uh, I don't want to say magical to make it sound too crazy, but it was an absolutely fantastic camping experience that I had here uh, in 2017, if I don't, uh, if I recall correctly. And I want to try recreate what we saw that day. It's not looking good because there's clouds, so we might have to go to plan B and we'll get to that. So. Yeah, she forgot. It's fine. No, it's okay, babe. You can speak if you want to, you know? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's starting. I want to recreate the moonrise. God, 
half an hour until we have to leave this place if we have to go to plan B. All right, we're at our plan B, uh, which is sunset and moonrise from up here. So luckily we're in Madeira and we're gonna get one of the best sunsets I've seen uh, in Pico Duarriedo right now. So let's go and film some of that stuff. We won't show you the sun because we're after the moon and we'll get into that. But let's just shoot some shots. We're all very, uh, very, very much in a hurry. Let's go, let's go. I got my camera as well. I lied, we can't see the sun. <laughs> it's all the way out this side. Uh, I don't come here often enough for a sunset, although it's one of the best things you can do at uh, Pico Duarte. Well, wow. clouds, mountains, and the moon is gonna be coming up on this side of here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, it should be, should, be, should be fun. So let's see, let's see what we can do, I'm excited. Let's do it, let's do it. So today I wanted to recreate a moment I had on uh, the very first big walk I did, which was a moonrise. Uh, that was my second moonrise that I'd ever seen. The first one uh, was on a tour, on a Jeep tour with a family who wanted to do some stargazing and I saw my first moonrise by mistake and I was like, oh my God, what, what is this, you know? So uh, for everybody here, I think it was their first time um, and what is awesome is that it's just opened up now so you can actually see straight through we saw some planes coming in um, absolutely stunning sunsets and of course uh, now our campsite should be clear and should be warm as well it's a little bit windy up here it's a bit cold i got my trusty jacket but i am in shorts because it's uh, the second week of july and it's kind of weird weather but it says that it's gonna get hotter from now so up here at Pico do Arieiro, I've been using the mountain forecast site so if you go to mountain forecast at Pico do Arieiro, give you an idea about what this is on the forecast even though you know that can be very often wrong up here but because the campsite was close by I checked that out it says it's gonna get warmer so I think it's about time I mean I think it was a, a magical experience for everyone like I remember the wows when the moon just kind of uh, rose there and yeah I think we got very lucky very lucky with this one in July the full moon is the buck moon named after the new antlers that emerge from a buck's forehead it's a super moon as well so uh, it's apparently bigger than the other moons let's get out of here it's cold <laughs> Plan B. <laughs> Plan B, baby. Even though I hate doing a fire in a rush, you know. Anyway, Juan's still uh, battling out the fire. Look at it, look at this. It's looking good though, so we're gonna try. But in the meanwhile, we're gonna use this. We 
did it guys. So we all got uh, full stomachs, even though it was a bit of a funky, funky barbecue and a little bit late, but hey, you know, it is what it is. We did it for the moon rice, so I hope that came out nice on video for you guys. For us, it was awesome. Uh, we're going to play some cards and digest the dinner, and um, we'll see you in the morning. What do we do, Andre? Do we, like, do some kind of magic stuff? Have fun, Andre. <laughs> <laughs>to go get some bread because we had the bread yesterday at the barbecue uh, which we weren't supposed to we had potatoes and chicken uh, which we're now going to take home with us and have for lunch so it should be good um, and now we're doing our traditional uh, scrambled eggs and uh, farinata uh, which is a little twist on the Lisbon recipe which is the scrambled eggs and I later Portuguese sausage so we're doing that with some fruit juice with some coffee and some bread. We're gonna enjoy our breakfast. Okay, let me taste. Smells funky, doesn't it? it smells a bit funky, yeah. Like very fudding adder. You put two you put the two fudding adders. Yeah. It's good. Is it good? It's good. We need some salt. When it's good. A little bit salt. Or not. <laughs> <laughs>